Welcome back to the Awesome Possum Classroom, boys and girls. This is week four, lesson two of the Daily Kindergarten Phonics. Rhyme time. A rhyme is a repeated sound in two or more words, like the at sound in cat, hat, and bat. Man, fan. Do you hear the an sound in man and fan? Man and fan rhyme. Repeat after me. Man, fan. Good job. Now it's time to practice. Listen as I say the two rhyming words. Repeat the words back to me. If the words rhyme, give me a thumbs up. If they do not rhyme, give me a thumbs down. Ball, tell. Thumbs down. Hot, spot. Thumbs up. Band, hand. Thumbs up. Plain, fan. Thumbs down. Knee, see. Thumbs up. Very good. Now let's practice with beginning sounds. Listen for the first sound in the word. Run. What sound do you hear at the beginning of run? Say the sound, not the letter. Er. Very good. Now let's practice. What sound do you hear at the beginning of bake? B. What sound do you hear at the beginning of fog? What sound do you hear at the beginning of jet? J. What sound do you hear at the beginning of lion? L. What sound do you hear at the beginning of obey? O. Good job. Now let's try blending to make words. Blending to make words means we put all the word parts together to make a new and bigger word. Mun key. Monkey. Do you hear the two word parts in monkey? All right, you practice. Repeat after me. Mun key. Monkey. Good job. Now, I will say two syllables. Say the syllables back to me and blend them together to say a whole word. Repeat after me. Pizza. What's the word? Pizza. Repeat after me. Silver. What's the word? Silver. Repeat after me. Magnet. What's the word? Magnet. Very good. Repeat after me. Basic. What's the word? Basic. Repeat after me. Pump. Kin. What's the word? Pumpkin. Good job. Now let's practice ending sounds. Listen for the last sound you hear in the word. Man. What sound do you hear at the end of man? Say the sound, not the letter. Mm, very good. All right. What sound do you hear at the end of limp? P. What sound do you hear at the end of fire? Er. What sound do you hear at the end of love? V. What sound do you hear at the end of rub? B. What sound do you hear at the end of lead? D. Excellent. Now let's practice segmenting. Segmenting means listening to the whole word and then breaking it down into smaller parts. Today. Today. Do you hear the two smaller parts in today? Repeat after me. Today. Today. 
Good job. So now I'm going to say one big word. Say the word back to me and then break it into smaller parts. All right. Repeat after me. Silent. Break it into two smaller parts. Silent. Repeat after me. Pilot. Break it into two smaller parts. Pilot. Repeat after me. Taken. Break it into two smaller parts. Taken. Repeat after me. Robot. Break it into two smaller parts. Row bot. Repeat after me. Water. Break it into two smaller parts. Water. Good job. Now let's practice adding a syllable to the end of a word. We can add a syllable at the end of a word to make a new word. Say call. Add d at the end and the word is called. Very good. Let's practice. Say long. Add est and the word is longest. Say short. Add est to the end of the word and the word is shortest. Say bright. Add est to the end of the word, and the word is brightest. Say dark. Add est to the end of the word, and the word is darkest. Say sweet. Add est to the end of the word, and the word is sweetest. Good job. All right, now let's try taking away a syllable. We can take away a syllable from the end of the word and say what is left. Say called. Without the d, what is left? Call. Let's practice. Say longest. Without the est, what is left? Long. Say shortest. Without the est, what is left? Short. Say brightest. Without the est, what is left? Bright. Say darkest. Without the est, what is left? Dark. Say sweetest. Without the est, what is left? Sweet. Good job. All right, let's practice changing syllables. We can change a syllable to make a new word. Say harder. Change hard to strong, and the word is stronger. Say coolest. Change cool to tall, and the word is tallest. Say tallest. Change tall to small, and the word is smallest. Say smallest. Change small to short, and the word is shortest. Say shortest. Change short to mean, and the word is Meanest. Say meanest. Change mean to nice, and the word is nicest. Good job. All right, let's learn the alphabet. We can learn letter names and letter sounds. Each letter has a name and a sound. I will ask you the letter and then the sound the letter makes. What is the letter? 
F, what is the sound? F. What is the letter? A, what is the sound? A. What is the letter? C, what is the sound? K. What is the letter? B, what is the sound? B. What is the letter? D, what is the sound? D. What is the letter? G, what is the sound? G. What is the letter? L, what is the sound? O. What is the letter? H, what is the sound? What is the letter? I, what is the sound? I. What is the letter? K, what is the sound? K. What is the letter? N, what is the sound? N. What is the letter? E, what is the sound? E. What is the letter? J, what is the sound? J. What is the letter? O, what is the sound? Ah, what is the letter? Q, what is the sound? Qua, what is the letter? R, what is the sound? Er, what is the letter? P, what is the sound? P, what is the letter? S, what is the sound? S, what is the letter? U, what is the sound? A. Uh. What is the letter? M. What is the sound? M. Mm. What is the letter? V. What is the sound? V. What is the letter? Z. What is the sound? Z. What is the letter? W. What is the sound? W. What is the letter? X. What is the sound? X. What is the letter? T. What is the sound? T. What is the letter? Y. What is the sound? Y. Now it's time to practice your sight words. On each slide, there will be a sight word. You will have three seconds to say the word before the next word appears. 
A. Two. The. A. And. R. The. R. And. Two. Now it's time to do an activity with nursery rhymes with your teacher. Your teacher will say a line and you will say the line and clap the number of words in the line. Count how many words are in each line. Circle the sight words. Count the syllables in the words and underline the rhyming words. At this time, teachers, stop the video so that you can do this activity with your class. That's the end of our lesson today. See you tomorrow.